Hey there, it is Tuesday, March 26th. The time is 2.42 p.m. and the temperature right now is around 8 degrees Celsius. And there goes a westbound King Streetcar. I'm here in the Financial District. Standing just beneath what is at least for now still the tallest building in the country, that is First Canadian Place. That's also a building I used to commute to daily, or at least on weekdays to work at in a prior life. And this is the food court at First Canadian Place. But we're gonna head down into the path. And I don't really have a plan for this one. It said in the forecast there would be rain today starting around noon. And that's been getting pushed back further and further. And I think it now says there might be rain around 4 p.m. And I came down with my umbrella in hopes to catch a rainfall. But it looks like that is not in the cards for today. So instead, we'll just go for a wander around downtown starting at the financial district here. That is Adelaide Street just to the right, which is to the north. MMA events, MSC events. Did I read that correctly? There we go, it says it's eight degrees and overcast. There is an image of a rain cloud right there so let's actually head down to the path like I said I would maybe I'll pop up at St. Andrew's station sometimes I like to plan up these walks I have something very specific in mind and I have talking points but this one is entirely random. There's a classy barber shop. I think the path here has been defined as the world's largest underground shopping complex. It connects most of the major towers in the financial district as well as five subway stations. Well, there's St. Andrew that's connected, Union, King, Queen, and Dundas. And there's a look at the path system. And for context, we are here. St. Andrew Station is there. There's the Union Station. King and Queen.
and despite the fact that it's clearly much busier, there's still a lot of vacant retail units. No, rather than head through the subway station, let's head up here into the lobby of 150 King West. It's a rather nice looking lobby. And this is University Avenue. And it looks south. street here is Pearl Street and you know what let's take this over to York Street Tall green building there is the St. Regis, formerly the Trump Tower, Toronto. Street coming up is Adelaide. <laughs> I think this is pretty new local public eatery. an eastbound one-way street running parallel to it just to the north is Richmond which runs one way in the opposite direction Remember this turning a lot of heads when it first went in. It's been here for about four years.
there's the home of the TSX. That's the Toronto Stock Exchange. It used to be located in the old Stock Exchange Tower on Bay Street. And another look up at FCP. All right, let's head up Shepherd Street here. And then we'll walk along Temperance. This is their first time coming. That's new. That cafe that wasn't here earlier. You got a pretty neat view of FCP from this vantage point. The Bell Telephone Company of Canada. It's not hard to see why Toronto often stands in for New York City in TV and film. John and Sons Food and Drink Oyster House. I've heard a lot about this place. I am not a seafood eater, but apparently it's quite good. here. I have to wait for a break in traffic. This is Bay Street I'm crossing. a WeWork. I've read that this company's been in some financial hot water lately. Marble Financial District, I'm guessing that's some kind of high-end restaurant. And I'm walking through the newly redesigned Temperance Street, as well as the Bay Adelaide Center. As we look up at the second tallest building in the city, Scotia Plaza, the two glass towers on the right and left were the first two buildings in the Bay Adelaide Center. The one on the right famously known as the setting for the TV show Suits. And here's the newest addition. A 
And there were plans for a very large tower to go up here in the late 80s. And then a recession hit. And that was later known as the Bay Adelaide Stump as only the first few floors had been built. There's the Hong Kong Trade Center, Hong Kong Tourism Board, and a Cathay Pacific office. There's a couple of cafes right here that can be kind of hard to get a seat at. This one's Sud. Never been there, but I have been to Dinan Coffee Company. And it is north up Young Street. Kinton Ramen Express is coming soon. <coughs> and this is Richmond Street, and it looks like the sidewalk is closed on the other side. So I guess that's it for the financial district wander in this one. I'm gonna make my way north. I think we'll find ourselves over to a subway station to finish up. Maybe that'll be St. Patrick or Queens Park Station. is Queen Street. And this is closed off due to Ontario Line construction. Well, on the left we have the Eaton Center. Maybe I'll just head up to Dundas and turn west, which is left when I get there.
And we're at Shooter Street, St. Lakes Hospital, and Massey Hall just off to the east there. off this Eaton Center entrance. They are renovating the mall where Nordstrom used to be. I think they're turning that into a couple of just regular retail corridors. That was where Eaton's was and then it later became a Sears and Sears left. Nordstrom moved in, and now I think the mall is just without one of its big anchor tenants. There's a GameStop. I couldn't buy anything useful there if I wanted to. My PC doesn't have a disk drive. My PS5 doesn't have a disk drive. Welcome to Dundas Square. It's impossible to know. This is about as calm as it gets. That person's okay. Law and Order Toronto, I've heard it's become a pastime of some people that hate watch that show. My life. Maybe you could give me more than just the things of this world. You could say maybe about a lot of things. This is Dundas Street West, heading west along the south side.
someone who bought an HP inkjet printer. Moon Palace, there's the lottery headquarters. So if you win the big one, that's where you would go to submit your claim. That is the atrium on bay. A shopping center and office complex. It used to be home to the site of the Ford Hotel. Seems to be a big crowd of people across the street. Should I go see what all the hubbub is about? Security, some lighting setups. That's me. Oh, yeah. Well, nice to meet you. Cheers. Apparently one of them was too fast. They're being such perfectionists. Funny if that was for Law & Order Toronto. In fact, if you know what that yeah. shoot was for, let me know down in the comments. I'd be curious to hear what that's all about. Sneaker shop. Yeah. 
out those shops thinking there'd be The kimchi house is quite excellent. And there's Gayubi, an all you can eat Japanese grill. I had Gayubi on Saturday night. Although that was up at the location at Huron and Bloor Street. That's the problem. I always like walking along this stretch of Dundas. But apparently, cocky fried chicken is gone. It was on the second floor up of Hong Shin there. Well, that sign says come in, we're open. Get ready to roll the dice, enjoy good food coming soon. Juju Cafe and Board Games moving in. We are at University Avenue. And this is where St. Patrick Station is. I'm gonna check the forecast and if it's not gonna rain, maybe I'll do a bit of a live stream. Since I'm down here, I still have a few hours of free time. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat random water, wander wander <laughs> starting in the financial district making my way over to young street up to dundas and then past some kind of chute up to here where a shoe and sock have found themselves i wonder if they are related if that sock has ever seen the inside of that shoe talk about life's great mysteries anyways Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support what I do, there's links to YouTube channel membership and Patreon down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there's a super thanks button appearing down below if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you for watching. Stay warm, stay safe, and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.